It's just been like consistent like 10K above months. Downloaded it, I checked the date, July of 2021. And then I left my job in September of 2021. Since then, I've sold websites. I've pivoted my business. I'm no longer doing social media management. What has been like your highest month? 13K. <laughs> it has literally changed my life. When you were designing on WordPress, were you charging way less? Like, what is that like? Yeah, way less. I think my first WordPress was like $500. $500 for a WordPress site versus like up to $5,000 for a show a site. Hey, welcome to the channel. I am so excited to sit down and chat with you, Laura, and hear all about your journey as becoming a web designer and really just all the things that come with that. So let's go ahead and start. Fill us in who you are, anything you want us to know about you. Yes. So I'm Laura. My Instagram is it's Clark creative, very creative name. Um, <laughs> and I started, I first found Becca in July of this year. Um, and we moved we used to be a military family. So my husband was Air Force and um, we were like moving a couple times because he had just gotten out 2021-ish. Um, and yeah. so I was a photographer, actually. We still are photographers and he's a videographer. Mm. Um, yeah. So I've always been like a creative person and I started photography in 2020. Um, after he got back from deployment, I was like, okay, I want to do something that we don't have to re-sign him again. Mm -hmm. um, and so after COVID and everything, we were like, okay, let's get out of this. So he got out, we moved to Tennessee actually. Okay. Um, and during that time I was doing photography and I was venturing into virtual assisting because photography, like you just have to trade like your time for your money. If you want to make money, you have to go out and do it. Yeah. And I have a daughter. And so I was like, yeah. I want to make more money, but I would love to just stay home in my bed <laughs> and do it that way. So Feel that's it. why, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Literally worked in my robe the other day and didn't even like leave the house. It was beautiful. So exactly. yeah. Um, so that's when I kind of got like, um, into virtual assisting, like more general stuff. Okay. And I was doing fine. Like it was kind of here and there, like I was getting clients and things. Um, and I focused on like Pinterest and blogging at the beginning of this year. Okay. And July is when I found you. And I was like, I, I think it was like 11 o'clock at night and I was on TikTok and I was like, wow, this is cool. <laughs> and in 2020, when I started photography, I did my own website on Show It and I had actually charged a friend like $500 to do her website. And I was like, wow, that was really a great deal <laughs> now. Um, For real. And I knew that I like loved design and everything. Like I'm just naturally creative and it's really fun for me. So when I saw your TikToks, I was just like, oh, this is cool. And so I like bought literally all the courses at midnight one night. <laughs> and <laughs> that same night, you yeah. like showed me and literally went. Yeah, and I'm them. very spontaneous. <laughs> <laughs> Love yeah. that. Oh my so God. So I was like, wait, I really think we could do this. And then I just like, I mapped it all out. So I got the course in July and I work with, photographers so that's like really fun for me because it's I still do photography but now that I do like web design full-time I was able to kind of just take on like one wedding a month for yeah. just fun purposes to kind of have that be more of like a hobby again instead of like wow if I don't book like four clients in a month like I'm not gonna make enough money that kind of thing so now it's more back to just being fun again and like a creative another creative outlet so it's really fun I can bring like what I know as a photographer yeah in the web design world so it's been really fun to kind of like when they most of my photography clients become really great friends of mine and then they end up like ranting to me and I give them like all this <laughs> all these different <laughs> things 
Um, cause we kind of just click in like the photography niche as well as like doing their website. It's just a really fun dynamic. Um, but yeah, I bought the courses, all of them. And, um, cause I was like, if I'm going to do one, like I literally could not pick a course I couldn't pick. So I had to do all of them. I was like, cool, go me. Let me see how fast I can make this back. <laughs> um, and so I got it in July and I started kind of talking about it because I was mainly like branded as Pinterest and blogging okay. then in like for Pinterest and blogs, like you can charge 600 to like a thousand, twelve hundred dollars a month, just depending. Mm-hmm. It's like the averages. And so like, you can only do like, I don't know, some people do like eight clients or something. But then you're literally working like every single day, like you can't take a break. And even Pinterest being like, like you can schedule it out and stuff. You're still in there like all of the time. Like there's not really much, but like time freedom that I found, especially like blogging every week. So it's just kind of like a lower pay for a lot of work. So that's why I was kind of like drawn to web design and especially like seeing your day in the lives recently. I'm just like even more motivated because I'm like, I know. Yeah. I'll kind of tell you like what my business looks like, how I do websites now, but yeah, July I got them. i got my first website. Um, I think I charged like $900 or something. And, um, (laughs) yeah. So I charged 900 or something like that. And I got one in July and then I had two that I booked in August and then, uh, September I booked one and this was kind of just me like selling on my stories, kind of putting it in to people's heads that, Hey, now I do web design and kind of Mm -hmm. transitioning from only doing Pinterest and blogs to mainly getting rid of that (laughs) and doing websites. So it took like probably a couple months to like really get it going and like putting it in people's minds that, hey, I need a new website. It's important. And I'm going to like hire her. She does this now. Mm -hmm. And so I've transitioned like fully to websites. um, And I booked like 13 in October. Yeah. (laughs) It's like very escalated. What? (laughs) from where where did you find them who are these people yeah they're literally only from instagram and i don't even have my own website what i don't have my own website oh my god that's amazing yeah i was like it's really funny because i saw your interview with um bloom bloom social yeah morgan Yes. Yeah. And she, it's so funny. Cause I watched her like in the beginning when I got the course and I was, she was talking about how she's booked out like three or four months in advance. And I would like sit there and be like, wow, how is she doing that? And then, <laughs> yeah. and I really just like have been on social or on Instagram, just like doing engagement and going to find people and um, that's how I've gotten everyone. So I booked wow. 13 in October. And then every day since September, no, every day since October 24th, I've had a website every single week. And yeah, and I'm booked out until March 13th of this year. So yeah. It's I'm very like, I don't even, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. I don't even know what to say. Um, first of all, so <laughs> proud of you. Like that is truly incredible. It, that I know is like when you're just starting or you haven't even started, that is like the dream, right? Like we all are looking up to someone who's like talking about being booked out and is booking all these clients. But I know that once you start, there's these like feelings, like how the do I do it? How am I going to make that happen for myself? Like, is that possible? But you really showed that it is possible. And like, you made that happen for you. And that's incredible. Like, I am truly so proud of you for that. Thank you. I know I would not be here without 
plugging into everything and like, oh, I'm just so grateful for. So you said that it was $900 for the first site. What's the evolution looked like for your pricing? Like, have you raised in increments? Where are you at now? Yes. So for me currently, I do like websites in a week. So they, I have the library. So um, I've kind of built off of that and like have been able to like be way more comfortable now. So I can like grab designs that I've made already and then put them in new ones and like rearrange them and things. Um, so now I do like custom websites in a week using the library and like those designs. Um, and so it was 900 and now, um, cause I know like SEO and stuff. So I kind of add that as like an add on. Um, but I think my highest one has been like 2,800. So, and then now I just raised them to 3,500. So yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. I think like what people who are, cause I think there's a lot of people who are virtual assistants or like how I was with Pinterest and blogs and stuff who have wanted to get into websites and it's just like so much more time like you get so much more of your time back Mm. once you learn like show it in all of your courses and stuff you can do it so much quicker and it's like you're not talking and having these like very long six month client relationships that's what I'm like obsessed with is that I mean I become friends with most of my clients um and like just chat with them all the time in the dms but it's it's not not the same like a client relationship where you're like, you're expected to do things. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like the same amount of money, like $3,000 in one week compared to their $3,000 over like the span of like six months or something. So that's crazy. Yes. Yeah. Wow. (laughs) Yeah. So when you were doing Pinterest management, do you remember what your highest month was? I think it was probably like around 6,000, but that was like strapped to my laptop working for other people on their team and like that kind of thing. Yeah. Would you say like 40 hours a week when you were doing that or how many hours were you working? Probably that. Um, I'm definitely a workaholic, so (laughs) just because I love it, but, um, yeah, definitely like up really late and trying to like get things done. And like, yeah, it was a lot, (laughs) definitely Mm -hmm. 40 hours or probably more. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll be able to make more Mm -hmm. in two weeks designing sites, which sounds like you just enjoy doing more anyways Yeah. in and make double what you made. Yes. Yeah. (laughs) That's crazy. Yeah. I think like, um, Let's see. Hold on. I did. I looked at my honey book and I took these for Love that. this. So, Love a transparent girly. <laughs> yes. Um, so like last year, the beginning of the year, cause we were like moving and stuff back to our hometown. And um, I think like the beginning of the year until July, I like did not make that much. Like we were living with my parents. We were like, let's see like how much like money that we can like ramp up and see how much we're making so we could know like how much we could afford how much we could budget for like moving out and stuff mm-hmm. um, and then when I when I was there in July is when it started hitting like more <laughs> and it was like growing and I hit like 7k I think in July from just like booking future projects and then it's just been like consistent like 10k above months since then and I booked um like between October November and December I booked over like 80k in like value for then and until March this year crazy I'm like mind blown because I think like my biggest advice or like my biggest hurdle is knowing that like the web design niche is a high ticket niche and like a good skill that not everyone can do. Like I design sites and like, (laughs) they keep paying me to change things. 
like for them because they just don't even want to mess anything up mm -hmm. and I feel like the thing I had to realize is that not everyone has a creative mind mm. and it's like our superpower you know what I mean so true um yes like I am very creative and I just think everyone thinks the way that I do and like sees mm. things design wise the way I do but that is not the case in people like value that so much who are photographers and other creatives who just can't transfer it to websites um so I feel like the biggest thing I had to tell myself was like send them my pricing and don't <laughs> down on my pricing because I'm like valued at this you know yeah what I mean? so that's like one thing that I had to tell myself from the beginning mm. so, um, and it seems like you have overcome that because you clearly yeah are booking it. Did you find that people like saying yes to you gave you the validation to be like, okay, I actually am valued at this. Like now I'm not going to budge. Like now I know my yeah. worth. Yes. Yeah. And I think because, um, like October ish, I was charging like 2000 to 2,500 somewhere around there. Um, and I was getting like booked, booked, booked. And I was like, shoot, can I go a little higher? <laughs> and so I did. And like, they just kept booking. And now that I'm at like the three thirty five hundred range, it's slower, but I still get a lot of traction with like inquiries and things. And now that I'm like booked until March, I'm like, I'm going to hold off for mm. the people who will like pay me what it's worth. You know what I mean? Yeah hundred percent. I love that. If someone was watching this and is like, let's say a current virtual assistant and, or Pinterest manager and wanted to pivot to being a web designer, do you have any tips for them to do that? Yeah, I feel like we'll definitely <laughs> putting as much time into like your courses and education because that's seriously what gave me so much confidence with mm. designing and like how to work show it like CEO of show it I feel like anyone who like doesn't know anything about web design could learn literally everything that there is to know in there mm. and how to do it um if they have just like a little bit of a creative mind you don't even yeah. have to do extravagant designs Especially like not if you have the library, <laughs> the yeah, library exactly. literally does it for you. <laughs> yeah. That was like my lifesaver in the beginning as I was just like learning. And it's fun to just in the beginning when you're learning, show it and stuff to like use the library and then you can show it off in your stories. That's kind of what I did is I made a bunch of mock-up websites and then made like some reels, plugged in like photos, made it look like, Hey, this yeah. is what you have. And that's what helped me like really be able to sell those first websites because I made a full one and then I'd send them like my preview link to kind of like show them um, like some portfolio. And then, yeah, I kind of just, you don't have to do that anymore because <laughs> you designed yeah. a lot. <laughs> so, yeah. I love mm -hmm. that. So, and then definitely if they're, if they're going to pivot, like let's say they already have a social media. They've been on there. They have some clients, whatever. Do you think that they should just jump right into being a web designer and start creating those mock-ups, showing them on social media or like ease into it? What did you do? So let's see. In July is when I got it. And I like, I probably spent like a couple days binging it and was like, okay, wow. And just seeing like the freedom that you can have. That's what mm -hmm. I was talking about with your um, day in the life things. Like you just have so much more free time to kind of schedule like what you want to do besides working. Mm -hmm. um, and I binged everything and was like, okay, this is what I want to do. So I feel like if they've set their mind and like seen that this is the route that I want to go, this is how I want my work life to be then I honestly kind of just full sent it and started talking on my stories every single day um, about websites. And I didn't like sell like, hey, I'm booking this many spots for this month. I kind of went into going into my stories every day and being like, hey, I'm genuinely wanting to help you because Pinterest and blogs 
don't work unless you have that website piece Mm. then point them to and sell so I feel like that's a really awesome way to kind of transition because you're filling such a gap with the website um that that so many people like don't have with you um And so, yeah, I kind of just went on and like showed them the missing piece and like what their website may not be doing for them and just providing value. Like this is, you know, what you can get with the website. This is why you need a website and kind of touching on all of like the pain points in my stories. And that's what like really got me those first clients is them being like, wow, you just literally took the thoughts in my brain and like put them on your stories and I was like cool I'm glad I got it <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do oh so, my god I yeah. love that well clearly the full send works because now you're making over ten thousand dollars every month which is insane yeah. so clearly it works <laughs> yeah yeah and I feel like something else to know is or to like note is that I've done like a bunch of like gen or uh, lead generation. That's what I've done Mm -hmm. to get like all of my clients. And so the people who knew you as a Pinterest, this is what I was telling myself. The people Mm -hmm. who knew you as just a Pinterest and blogging manager aren't going to be necessarily the people who are going to book you for websites because you're bringing in all these new people who never even knew you did that if they didn't like go stalk your Instagram posts and see (laughs) that. So it's just like a whole new audience. So it doesn't even matter. Like the past people who are maybe like, what is she doing? Like, I thought she did this. Like, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't yeah. even matter. Yeah. You're bringing in new people. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Wow. Well, again, so proud of you. So inspiring. I know that so many people are going to watch this and be like, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to become a web designer now. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah it's worth it. I love that so much. Well, where can people come be friends with you on the Yes. So I'm at it's Clark creative on Instagram and I love DMS and that's kind of how I also work things because I haven't, I literally haven't had time to make my, (laughs) my own website, um, apart from like designing other people. So I do like all of my stuff in the DMs with voice memos and like voice memos are just king. Love that. Yeah. Did you learn that inside Wealthy Web Designer? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, literally. It really is the best. And I actually love that you don't have a website. I think that you could definitely have that be on like your quarter two goal, quarter three, whatever. And like work in the process. But it's really cool to sh- to see that it's possible that to not have one. That like nothing needs to be this exact way, and that you have made it work for you. And you're like, okay, no, I'm gonna do it this way, and it's gonna work. And then once I'm ready, I'm gonna go do that. But like, it doesn't need to be this like black and white. Like you have to do it this way because yeah. it's just not true. And like, it really can be exactly how you want it to look. So I think yeah. that's so cool. Yeah. And I started with like, now I do, um, like the websites in a week, but now I'm transitioning to finally starting to feel comfortable to do a website in a day and like build templates. So a template shop and all that stuff is in the works and I'm collaborating with some like photography coaches for templates and yeah, some big things coming. Yes. I'm so wow. excited. Oh, I can't wait. We're going to have to do another check-in to see where you're at. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come to me Come in like July. <laughs> yeah. Love it. We'll oh see. my gosh. Well, thank you so much for coming on here and everyone go follow her, become yeah. friends with her. She's so awesome. And thank you again. Yes. You're so welcome. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>